Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my aviation news series. Today I'll be covering the issue of the Airbus A380s and the future of them and what is actually currently going on with them. Uh, if you didn't know, the first ever A380 that was delivered to Singapore Airlines, the registration for that one is 9V-SKA, has in fact been stored in France. Um, so quite a shock as it's only been around 10 years since it was delivered to Singapore Airlines. But in this episode, we're going to cover Emirates, Malaysia Airlines, and how I just mentioned Singapore Airlines, and regarding the situation with the A380s. However, this episode will begin with Malaysian Airlines and how their A380 services will in fact cease in the first quarter of 2018. This is happening only six years after they took delivery of their first A380, so it's kind of ridiculous when you think how it's only been six years and they're already ceasing the operations of an aircraft. Usually we'd see that go for maybe 20 years, 18 years, just depending on uh, future orders and everything, but because Malaysian Airlines are getting the A350, uh, they deem there's no need for the A380 anymore. And the carrier's sole remaining scheduled A380 services are between Kuala Lumpur, Sepang and London Heathrow, where it presently operates twice daily non-stop flights. And effective of, as of the 15th of January 2018, uh, the A380 service will reduce to once daily with the MH4-5 daily flight being replaced by the newly delivered 3-class Airbus A350-900. According to Malaysia Airlines Reservation System, all scheduled A380 services will cease on the 4th of March 2018, with the flagship flights MH1 and 2 also being replaced by the Airbus A350-900. Delivery of the first aircraft took place in July 2015, and the A380s had also been earmarked for flights to Sydney, but this never eventuated apart from a very brief period in 2015 for a total of nine days and a brief two-day period a couple of weeks back. Uh, there have also been attempts by the Malaysian carrier to sell or lease the A380s to other airlines, however nothing has eventuated from that. The carrier's A380 operations, according to many analysts, have not been profitable for the airline, and this is the case for a number of other airlines just like Qantas, uh, and a host more, and that is why they are opting for the 7879, uh, the new 777X, which will be coming out shortly, uh, just because of the full fuel efficiency and the cost of the aircraft itself. This problem also goes with the 7478, which I might also make a video on, but in brief talking about that, we are seeing uh, a number of airlines not opting for the 7478, and it has actually been transformed into a cargo plane, pretty much, with the airline UPS. Uh, ordering quite a number of them and then there are two other orders which are for the Air Force One and that is pretty much it when it comes to the 7478 so whether or not we see um, Airbus transform the A380 into a cargo plane um, but even still they've got to make it fuel efficient and not as pricey or we just won't see any airlines ordering it so just going on with Singapore Airlines how I was talking about the first A380 stored for the first time an Airbus A380 Super Jumbo has been retired from service and stored as we mentioned earlier the aircraft was grounded by Singapore Airlines in June after only 10 years of use and will now be stored minus its engines in France, with the second already grounded at Changi Airport. If the company can't find homes for these new planes, they'll be broken up for parts worth at least $100 million per plane, and the A380's original list price was in the region of $250 million apiece. And as we know, Emirates have over 100 uh, A380s with a lot more on order, however they were expected to order some more at the Dubai Air Show. However, in a shock twist, they did announce the order of 40 Boeing 787-10s, of course from Airbus's rival, as part of a new 15.1 billion deal. Um, I did cover a video on the Boeing 787-10 for Emirates, which you can check now. It'll be in a card at uh, the top right of the video, uh, so feel free to check that out. But it is quite a shock because we were going to see, as I explained, Emirates ordering more A380s. However, they did opt for the 78710, um, which, I mean, isn't necessarily a bad thing for the airline. It does give them a lot more variety. And as um, I mentioned in the 777X video, they have ordered around 150 of the new 777Xs. So their fleet is starting to become predominantly Boeing, but they will have those 150 or so Airbus A380s operating on um, quite a number of routes and I feel like 150 A380s is kind of overkill um, with a lot of those A380s being put kind of on meaningless half an hour routes. Um, I really don't know where the profit in that is but Emirates are an extremely rich airline so I guess unlike the likes of um, Singapore Airlines or Malaysian they can afford to put it on these really odd routes 
like they go um they are going to go rather triple daily to melbourne with the a380 and according to routers industry sources have said that in order to solidify new a380 orders from ms airbus will have to buy back or rehome some of the older models currently operated by the golf carrier and guarantee it would not cancel production of the super jumbo going forward and this is the case for a number of airlines who currently operate the a380 as well and this really leads me to my main point and the reason why we are seeing more and more orders for the 787s, A350s, 777Xs and A330neos. That being the fuel efficiency and price of these aircraft. Airlines have quickly figured out that the 787 is not only better for the environment, but also more cost effective in the long run. The 7478s have also been heavily impacted by this, but I'll cover that in another video shortly. Okay guys, that's going to conclude another episode of my aviation news series. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about this topic. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and I will see you in the next video. Peace.